Calculate the sample variance for the following numbers, 2, 7, 3, 9, and 12. All right, to do this problem, what you want to do is simply create two columns. So when they ask you to calculate the variance, you want to create a column first that contains all the data that they gave you. So we're going to do 2, 7, 3, 9, and 12. The next step is to create a column that has the same data values but squared. So we're going to do 2 squared, which gives you 4, 7 squared, which gives you 49, 3 squared, which gives you 9, 9 squared, which gives you 81, and 12 squared, which gives you 144. And once you have those listed, the next step of the process is going to be to simply count up how many data values you started with. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 data values. We're going to call that quantity n. So n is 5. All right, and then from there, we want to add up the two columns we created. So we're going to add this column together and come up with our total, and then we're going to add this column together and come up with a total, right? So that's what we're going to do at this moment. So if I add 2 and 7, I get 9, and then another 9 here makes 18, 18 and 12 makes 30, and I have that 3 there, so I get 33. After that, I'm going to add these values together. So we're going to have um, 81 and 49. That's going to make basically the same as 50 and 80, right? So that's 130. Then we'll have 130 added to 144. That's going to give us 274. And then finally, 274 and 9 makes 283. And then 287 if we add the 4, right? 287. Of course, you can just use a calculator to do that. But there you have it. Now, our next step is going to be to take these numbers that we have, and we're going to give them names. So I'm just going to say, hey, what would you call this 33? It came from adding up this column. So it came from doing the sum of x. And this column was x squared, so this number would be the sum of x squared. That's where it came from, right? So we've basically given these numbers names. 33 is the sum of x and 287 is the sum of x squared. All right, now our kind of last set of steps that are the most important really is to take these numbers and plug them into our formula. The formula for variance is actually s squared if you're working with sample variance, right? And so this is the sample variance they asked us to calculate. And s squared has the following formula. It's a fraction and basically it's going to be n times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x quantity squared divided by n times n minus 1. So there's your formula. That formula looks complicated, but if you really think about it, you have n, so that number is just 5, right? So all the places where you see n, it's just 5. And then this quantity, the sum of x squared, well, we have the sum of x squared, don't we? We said that that quantity is 287. And finally, the sum of x is 33. So we're just going to be plugging those values in. So n is 5, right? The sum of x squared is 287. Minus the summation of x, which is 33, quantity squared. And then lastly, we're going to have n, which is 5 times n minus 1, which of course is 4. All right, so the remaining part of this problem is just calculator work. I'm going to go ahead and grab my calculator and we'll do that together. Okay, so here's my calculator and let's go ahead and begin to type in this calculation. The best way to do it is to probably do the top and the bottom a little bit separately. So I'm going to do 5 times 287 minus 33 squared. Hit enter and get your answer. So we see the answer is 346 for the top. Five times four is 20. And so lastly, we'll divide those two numbers. 346 divided by 20. And we get the answer 17.3. And that is your sample variance, S squared. All right, so the calculation is actually not too bad as long as you do the steps as we described, right? So you sum the data, you square all the data, and you add it together. You count up how many data values you were given in the problem initially, and with those variables, you can come to the formula and fill it in. 
Last thing I want to say about this is that this formula is the shortcut formula for the sample variance. So you may have seen it written a different way. That other way of writing the formula is equivalent, it's the same thing. But when you're doing the computation, this is actually the more efficient way to do it. The way I've showed you makes this most simple. So even though the formula kind of looks more complicated than the definition formula for S squared, this formula accomplishes the calculations much faster. This is called the computational formula.